to hey everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Movie Reviews with Ricky and Matt. Well, Matt and Ricky. Welcome back! Ha! <laughs> you can come here every Friday morning to see what movies are worth spending money on. Yeah, we just want to make sure you guys don't waste your money on stupid movies. So come watch our reviews to make sure you don't do that. Today we'll be doing the movie review of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollow. Bing! Wahoo! Thanks to Aang7777. Wait, Ricky, is it that time again? It is that time. Ten seconds in the news. So they're rebooting Spider-Man. Yeah, you know, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, they're throwing it out. The new Spider-Man will be Andrew Garfield, and here's a poster to show you what it's going to look like. Sexy. I'm super excited that they're going to be doing a new Spider-Man because I thought the last Spider-Man that they did was a disaster after the first movie. But what do you think? Leave a comment below. Do you like Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire? Please let us know in the comments below. Let's jump right into it. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1. You want to go this way? These are dark times, there is no denying. Tell me where he is. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Directed by David Yates. Running time, 2 hours and 30 minutes. Cast, Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter, Rupert Grant as Rob Weasley, and Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. In the seventh and final installment of our beloved Harry Potter series, Harry Potter faces new troubles. He must collect all the Horcruxes that the evil Lord Voldemort has left behind. He has no idea where these are, and he has to destroy all of them, even without the faintest idea how to do so. The stronger he gets, I must be the one to kill Harry Potter. On Rotten Tomatoes, the critics gave the film on average a 79%. 79% good reviews! You know what that means? Certified fresh! 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 So what do we think? I really like this Harry Potter. I usually don't like Harry Potter, but this one was more realistic. I'm a big fan of the books, read all the books, and this movie I feel like is the most exciting. I feel like this Harry Potter has more artistic value. So the acting in this film was superb. They all did a really good job working together. The only person I thought was a little bit off on some of his lines was Harry Potter. You know, go figure. I felt like the other Harry Potter movies tried to be scary, but really they weren't. They were more like corny and cheesy. But this movie really has some dark parts and made me jump out of my seat. Had a little bit of more adventure, a little bit more fright. It was very, very funny. The story is a lot different. It doesn't take place in Hogwarts. Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron are out looking for these horcruxes. Um, rather than just a little ch children's story, it's a movie that adults would like just as much as, you know, children. For all you Harry Potter fans out there, I think you'll really enjoy this one. Of course I missed some details, but I really think they stuck to the story as much as I could. So about that nude scene. They look like Smurfs, not nude people. The nude scene actually looked like two avatars. So how many MR stories did we give it? We give it four. That means it's worth your money and you should go see it. Thanks for tuning in again for Movie Reviews with Matt and Ricky. And please let us know what movies you'd like us to review next week. Please leave in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We really enjoyed Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, so go see it. Take your family, take your friends, take your girlfriend, because it's worth your money. And Aang7777, we love you. Here's a movie tip for you if you're going to go on a date to the movies. You don't want to go on a date with stinky, smelly, yucky breath. You want to use an aura brush. An aura brush is better than gum or a mint or a mouthwash because it literally cures you from bad breath. 90% of bad breath comes from bacteria on the tongue. Put it in your mouth. And look, there's stuff on the Aura Brush. Cool. So go to AuraBrush.com forward slash free for your free Aura Brush today.